34% of burglars enter the home through the front door. 60% of burglars admit that the presence of a security system has deterred them. And 87% of burglaries are considered preventable. Today, we're taking a look at how to keep your house secure when you are away. Whether you're going on a holiday or just on a business trip, your house is a lot less secure than you would assume. My name is Jake Evans with the Region Security Garden channel here on YouTube. I want to send a special shout out to everyone in the subscriber community. I want to thank you for taking a part in your day to join us here with us. If you're not part of the community yet, you can just click the little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss a video. First of all, if you have a front garden or one that's easily visible to the public, sorting this out should be a relatively simple but still important task. By sorting it out, we mean to mow it and de-weed it before you go. Depending on the length of time that you've gone for, you might want to organize someone else to come in and uh, do an extra job. The reason this is important is that an unkempt lawn is the first and biggest sign that no one's home, with tall grass and weeds attracting unwanted eyes. Especially given how easy of a task this is and how it's just to do with general maintenance, it shouldn't be too difficult to do. But it is often one that's forgotten as before you go on holiday you don't tend to think about mowing the grass. Alarm systems are some of the most potent forms of security you can have in your household. Being capable of detecting any kind of motion and alerting you either via smartphone or whatever else kind of system you've got going on, there is no greater way to deter threats than by showing them you know where they are. The other capability is the alarm siren itself. Burglars thrive in quiet and dark environments, so setting off a loud alarm is immediately going to deter them from the property. You can also discuss with your neighbours, if you're close enough to them, what they should do if they do hear the alarm go off, whether they should call the police, whether they should go around and check, whether they have access to a security system, that they can kind of check in on your uh, cameras. There are a lot of different types of alarm systems, especially ones that have two-way cameras going on. If you've got pets at home or any of that kind of situation going on, you don't necessarily want an alarm going off every five minutes just because the dog walks by. But generally being able to see who is in your house and what they're up to is a really effective method of uh, deterring burglaries. This may seem like an obvious step, but locking your doors and windows is something not enough people pay enough attention to. Whilst locking them should be a default action, ensuring that your locks are up to the task is also something that should be considered. There's a variety of different forms of locking mechanisms, and making sure that yours are up to scratch is important. Especially with older houses, some of them are able to be picked or unlocked pretty easily. This is where reinforcement locks come in, stopping people even if they have a key from getting access to your house. They can also bolster the physical endurance of a door, preventing it from succumbing to forced entry. All in all, there should be a lot of extra care taken when it comes to locking up your place. Leaving a car on the driveway is a surefire indicator that somebody is at home. If you're in the fortunate enough position to have a second car, doing this will be able to deter intruders by letting them think that there is people in the house. Otherwise, it might be useful to ask a neighbor. They could park their car temporarily on your drive or outside of your house to show people that there are people in the house. It has been proven that having a car on the drive will immediately turn burglars' attention away from your home. Make sure the car's in a visible place, and this will add another pillar to your security system. This is more of a precaution than a strict security measure, but make sure you don't go posting about your holiday before you go on social media. The reason for this is that word spreads fast and people do use these social media channels in order to gain access to knowledge they really shouldn't have. It's surprising the amount of pictures and videos that are put on Facebook and different social medias of people's houses so you can get access to a lot of knowledge and information without even knowing the person. Smart lights are lights that you're able to program to turn on or off at various intervals. Oftentimes, people have smart lights in their home just for convenience, but you can actually program them to turn on when you're out the house. The reason you want to do this is similar to the car reason, for the illusion that somebody is in the house. Using fairly efficient bulbs alongside set timers to turn them on and off, it's a guaranteed way and easy to deter intruders. Locking valuables in a safe is a pretty controversial element of security, as safes are often the first place that thieves go in order to get at your most valuable goods. In this instance, using an unassuming safe to lock personal belongings in would be the best course of action. When I say personal belongings, I mean things like family photo albums, important documents, stuff that is very valuable to yourself, but isn't necessarily that valuable to criminals. And that's our checklist for making sure you're able to keep your home safe when you're away. There's a lot of elements we didn't discuss necessarily here, but ultimately each house is different and has their own security needs. With that being said, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and comment. If you really enjoyed, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest in security news. We'll see you guys next week.